Today I'm tackling our downstairs closet. This is the only closet that we have in the whole downstairs. And actually when we moved in, this wasn't even a closet. It was completely open. And we put the door on here so that we could store, make it like our broom closet, you know? This closet is under the stairs, essentially. And it is always a disaster because it is very long and narrow. And there's just not a good storage system in place. You can't really get in there and get anything. These hanging, um, not hooks, but you know what I mean. These were already here. Um, we did not put those in, so we just were kind of using them as they are. And it's a giant mess because there's an inflatable air track um, for the kids to practice their acro tricks on. There's yoga mats. There's usually another mat in here for dance and stuff. Uh, we do have this one wall hanging unit, but it just, it does not function well. It drives me crazy. You can't get in there. The vacuum is in the front. So I just pull the vacuum out. So this is my project for the week and my husband is going to assist me, obviously, because I'm pregnant so I can't be hauling big heavy stuff out of here. So we're gonna do the best we can. So the first step to getting this closet under control is to clear everything out just because it's a difficult space to get into. So I need to get everything out, wipe it all down, and then get rid of the stuff that I do not need because I don't want to waste time organizing extra clutter that's completely unnecessary. That would just be silly. I'm only going to keep the essential things that I need in here. It mainly needs to function as a broom closet. I, well, I don't even have a broom, but <laughs> a vacuum closet for cleaning stuff. Um, and for the dance mats, and this is the only other place that we can put the dance mats. So this is where they will live downstairs where we can easily access them when the kids want to practice. So I'm going to clear out trash, uh, donate anything that I can possibly donate, get rid of anything that might be broken, rehome things that maybe could live in a different space in the house that don't need to be in here taking up room. And I'm going to remember that I want this to function as a cleaning closet. This is where I'm at so far, taking out the vacuum and the big mats. This is what is in here and what it looks like. There is another yoga mat. There is a piece of furniture that has a bunch of records in it. This steam mop does not work anymore. So this can go out into the trash because no point in keeping that. Here is like a little built-in storage shelf that I'm assuming the previous owners kind of like made. So I'm going to, so I'll probably reuse those because it'll be a good way to get things off from the floor. And I'll be able to access them better once I get this piece of furniture out of here. But this is completely full of records and it's very heavy. So I'm gonna have to wait for my husband to help me move it. I can kind of slide it out of the way, but, and he's gonna have to decide if we really need to keep all those records. Cause we really only play them at like Christmas time, honestly. So we'll see. I mean, most of these are his, so I mean, it's up to him to decide. Okay, so other than the record stand, everything is out of the closet. So this is how it looks totally empty. I'm probably gonna take all these out and my husband's gonna be mad at me because he's gonna be like, are you kidding me? You want me to repaint something else? Because I'm pregnant, so I can't, I can't do the painting. <laughs> so, surprise, another project. And if you could read the Your 
Since I recently cleaned out the attic, I know I have some extra shelves up there. I'm going to check the measurements of those and see if I can possibly repurpose them in this closet. I don't want to go out and buy extra things if I have something that I can repurpose and reuse already, right? I don't want to go out and spend extra money. I want to reuse what I already have, if at all possible. So hopefully those will work. We shall see. I might have to get something at the store, but going to try to make do on a tiny budget. So I want to show you, this is all the stuff that I took out of the closet. This is everything that was in there. Random. There's some cleaning stuff. And then there's canvases in there. My husband is very good at painting. And this is all the other stuff that was in there as well. Both of the vacuums. The wet mop that doesn't work, steam mop, I should say. Yeah, all this stuff was in that teeny tiny little closet, which clearly it does not need to all be in there. Okay, so I'm gonna go through all this stuff that's out here and I'm going to separate it into piles of things that I want to keep and put back into the closet and things that need to find a home someplace else and things that need to either trash or be donated. So keep closet things, different home, or trash donate. Okay, well I physically cannot get this mat into the bag any more than that, so that's going to have to be good enough, I guess. That's the best I can do. It's better than it was. So this is what I have so far that needs to go back into the closet. And it is cleaning supplies and um, the dance stuff, because we set up the dance stuff in the living room when the girls practice so it's easy to access it in this closet and it's really the only storage space downstairs so now I'm going to tackle this random stuff over here this is actually a container of donations that I need to package up and get ready to go out so these are leaving these are things that my mom bought the kids and I honestly forgot all about them but they're meant, they're like little trays for them to put on their laps when they sit in the car to do, so they can do activities and have like their crayons and stuff out here and they can read and it sits on their lap, right? It's a good idea. I just never, never remember that we have them so they never get used. It's not a bad idea and it has nice pockets. I'm going to put these in the, actually into the car, into the new car, and see if they get used. I will give them a week. I have, I have one for each kid. This one was, oh, this one got used. It was colored on. Um, yeah, I'll put them out in the car. I'll see if they get used. If not, then we'll donate them, but I'll give them one more chance. This is another thing from grandma. Some art smocks, aprons. Honestly, the kids don't ever use these anymore. They might have when they were really little, but I, I don't even remember the last time they used them. All 
right, so I finished going through everything. So this is the stuff that I want to go back into the closet. And I have to figure out how to keep this stuff off the floor. So I'm gonna think about that. And then over here is my mess. This is my rehome pile. Things that can go and live other places. They don't need to be in this closet. There's canvases that can go in the attic and there's some stuff that can go out into the car. And then over here is my donate and or trash pile. So there's broken things and things that no longer work and empty boxes. All this stuff can go. The toys will be donated. This stuff I just have to take upstairs and to various places. And then I can start putting this stuff back into the closet once I figure out the whole shelving situation. <laughs> you may think to yourself, why can't I keep the space organized? And a lot of times it's because there's things in there that just don't belong. They have a home someplace else that's not where they should be. Or there's just things that need to go into the garbage that don't even deserve any space at all. That may have just got tossed in there when somebody was stopping by. You're trying to pick up quick. It's like that one place where there's a door and you can just shove things, you know? So you saw how much stuff was actually in that closet to begin with. And then this is the stuff, the only stuff that I actually need in that closet. So over time, if you don't keep up on it, this other random stuff can find its way in there. Stuff that's like in limbo. So the shelves that I had originally planned weren't going to work out. So I ordered this over the door hanger from Amazon to try instead. And now I have to figure out how to put it together. <laughs> okay, so I got all the parts out. Now I just have to figure out how to assemble it. So this one that I got has two shallow baskets and two deeper baskets. But there was other options to have more little baskets, depending on what you were using it for. There was, there was more options, but I think this will serve its purpose. So now I'm just gonna start putting this together. I finished putting this all together. Wasn't too hard, except for the fact that I have um, carpal tunnel going on in my hands from pregnancy-induced carpal tunnel. So my hands are in a lot of pain. So that part was difficult. To get this together but I mean it wasn't complicated to put it together I should say but I should say if you're short like me I'm five foot two that top basket is quite tall <laughs> I didn't realize how high up it was to the top but that's okay I'll put things up there that we don't use very often so it looks pretty cool I'm happy with it and I'll start filling it up all right, so in this bottom bin, I put in some dance stuff for the kids to easily access their yoga blocks and their stretch bands. And then up in the next one, I put the extra vacuum bags and uh, wet jet pad refills can go there. Then I have dust dusting things. And then on the top one, I just put my mom's <laughs> ruby red slippers because she doesn't use them very often, but if she's looking for them, she will look in this closet. So they will have a home here. And then now I have space for my cleaning supplies and a nice little access basket for the kids. So that's really nice. And then I can always change things up depending on what I have. So I'm really happy with that. So this record stand is not very good quality. It is very wobbly and shaky, and it has been ever since we got it. My husband went through all of the records, and he made piles of which ones he wants to keep and which ones he wants to donate. And they live in this cabinet over here. I have the record player on the bottom, and then there's a space. I have more space on top for the records to go for the ones that we are keeping. So we that's where they will live now. And we will be getting rid of this piece of furniture because we no longer need it. This closet is officially done. 
It is so much better than it was. Now it only has the things in it that we actually need. We have dance and yoga mats. We have cleaning supplies organized. They're up on the wall or on the back of the door. Things are off the floor. And all the extra clutter has been cleared out so we can actually get in here. And it's not, there's not stuff spilling out on the floor when you open the door. So thankfully, when we took the, the uh, peg hooks off the wall, it didn't really do too much damage. So we're not going to bother painting it because it is just a closet, broom closet after all. So I'm very happy with how this has turned out. I'm really glad that I finally got this project done. So now space functions so much better for our whole family and everybody can find and help clean <laughs> around the house now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.